Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary, which we are calling Rail, it's finally halfway here. The Star Advertiser has a very nice piece about the opening of the Rail coming in the next few days. It's a nice video, nicely done by Diane Lee there, with a new animated logo for the newspaper. It shows us pictures of the trains and the stations and the hypothetical passengers, and in its own way, it's kind of inviting. It makes you want to try the rail, even after all the controversy over the years since Mufi manhandled us into it, and even after paying the gross, gross excise tax surcharge all these years. The video is informative and worth watching, but hardly seems like news, more like an infomercial to popularize the project among potential writers. But questions remain. Who in fact will write it? It won't be open at night and that will create a problem for many people. It doesn't stop at the airport and it won't be useful for local people or visitors coming and going. It stops halfway at Halava, which is nowhere for most commuters. They say there are charging stations and bus transfer connections there, but it sounds pretty humbug for those going to and from the central business district. What about the rest of the way? Not for a while, I guess. We all know that the hardest part is from Halava to town, with all the unresolved easement and demolition problems and expenses along the way. It will cost many millions more to bring it to Ala Moana, much less Waikiki or the university. Do we have the money? Hold on your wallets, everyone, but don't hold your breath. Of course, there will be a blush of excitement with those who want to ride something new and shiny. But will they stay and give up the convenience of driving? Not clear. Or will this rather be a huge white elephant that most people don't want and won't use, but which will cost much, much more going forward? Ridership or not, budget-breaking costs or not, one thing is clear. This will be a subject of further discussion and probably also contention, and it will have a huge effect on our city and our quality of life on this island. Stand by for the rail, finally, and for lots of issues about it. Certainly, there are many more videos and news stories to come. After all, this long-awaited project still has the other half to go. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. Aloha.